This is Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. And today we're gonna to conquer one of those big questions. How to evaluate my stand? So, or do I have a stand? Um, so the first step is to maybe watch some of the videos, look up on the internet. You need to learn how to identify the seeds you're looking for. So we got some books on our website and in our store that we find very beneficial to help us ID seedlings. Uh, I'm sure you will too. Today, we are in a monoculture field of Indian grass that was just planted this spring, uh, back in April. It's now about the 1st of July. It's a good time to get out and assess whether you have a stand or not. So, what I like to do is go to a little bit more of a bare area. Usually here in Ozarks where we're at, this is where your panoramic didn't get dissipated by rain as much because it's probably shallow to bedrock or a hard pan underneath there. So you kind of go to a little bare spot, it's a little easier to find your first seedlings and figure out what you're looking for. So once we've identified our seedlings in the bare spot, we can then start looking out over the rest of the field which has more vegetation on it. A lot of that vegetation is weeds. And as I look through this planting, I can tell that I have an Indian grass seedling here. And I've got one here. Oh, and I've got a little one here in between. I've got another plant right here. Um, I kind of got a bare area here with one here, a good seedling here, and a seedling here. So when I look at this, in my mind, I've covered about three feet by about three feet square. So, and that would be nine square feet inside of that square. I counted five seedlings in there. If all five of those seedlings live, and at this point they're well established, I would say they're going to live. Within that, we've got enough seedlings. As those plants grow, they'll start to take a footprint up that's a foot and a half or so a piece. Now these are clump grasses, so they're not made to grow one on top of each other. They don't like their clump to touch the neighbor's clump. So you have a plenty of a stand with five seedlings in a three meter or in a three foot one meter by one meter square or one yard by one yard nine square feet um, an exceptional stand of natives in my opinion is when you start getting one plant per foot that'll establish really quickly but in time most of those act will actually die on you they can't grow that close together they need bigger footprint one will overpower the other one and they'll die uh, also if you get them too thick over time sometimes you have to come in and actually thin that crop to get uh, you have to thin that crop to get maximum growth out of it so in this field here I would say we have us a good stand so go to a bare spot look find you some seedlings look at your videos look at your pictures make sure you got it identified correctly because there's a lot of look like plants that could be out there in your field so look at those little features um, then start looking across your field in general and evaluating how close your plants are together. If you've got one, if you can step from one to the next, you know, you can pretty well say that you're going to have a stand. Because even as you get good at doing this identification over the years, you still miss about as many plants as you see, especially when you start getting in the competition. So if you can step plant to plant, you have a plenty of good stand. This has been Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. Uh, we're very passionate about native plants and enjoy being able to share this with you.